with with the Lakers, you wonder what those conversations between LeBron's people and Magic were in terms of what they're going to try and and put together. Um, like Eric said, you know, this year might be more difficult because Kawhi is still under contract, but maybe you wait a year and then and then he joins next year. I had read that he's not a big fan. LeBron's not a big fan of um, Lonzo Ball's dad, so I don't know what that means for Lonzo. Well, who is? Who's a big fan? Of well, that? Eric and JP. But um, he, makes, he makes me laugh. But I don't know. I don't know what the future is for guys like that. I mean, Lonzo Ball has a little bit of a knee issue. Does he want to play there? I don't know. I mean, then you've got... I mean, there's a new point guard in town. His name's LeBron. Correct. So you're, you're second fiddle now. And then the Lance Stevenson thing is interesting because... You know, they always kind of butted heads when he was with um, Indiana. But apparently he respects them. Right. You have to. Yeah, yeah. you know. I mean, he's a Well, defensive. he knows he's going to make deep <laughs> playoff runs with LeBron on his team. So, of course, why wouldn't you? Right, but what I'm saying is LeBron him? must respect oh, yeah, sure. Lance Stevenson. Yep. Because there's no way he's joining them if, if he doesn't like Stevenson. Definitely. So, um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with them. It's crazy how quickly that free agency, like the dominoes, start to fall. Because I guess when free agency opened up. And I, I guess it was uh, fait accompli, but Paul George was at a party with Russell Westbrook, and at, I don't know, right after midnight, he announced that he was staying, and then Chris Paul quickly signed, and then some of these lesser guys are signing for ridiculous amounts of money. So, signed an $84 million deal. Yeah. Aaron Gordon. Well, I, mean, I thought the that's... Wizards should have made a play for him. He's a decent stretch four. He can dunk. He's been in the dunk contest a couple times. Eighty-four million dollars for four years. He can years. dunk. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not why you signed him because he can dunk. <laughs> How would you describe Eric Gordon's game? Just one of the first athletic things you pick freak. Up. I would say athletic freak. Um, but you know, with Paul George, I think we th- we thought that Paul George might join the Lakers. He's from L.A. and maybe join LeBron out there. But a lot of these guys just signed for the money. They yeah, can, what did George can... make in Oklahoma City? Four years, one hundred thirty-seven million. Hey, is that the number? He could sign I mean, for I, more there than anywhere else. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. I heard Brian Windhorst saying that, uh, you know, he's a guy, the ESPN insider, that's been like uh, LeBron's guy, apparently, you know, for like the last decade or so. And even he said it's interesting that LeBron's like sort of drawing power may not be what it once was. Um, that guys, are, for whatever reason, they're passing on the opportunity to necessarily play with LeBron. Like KD? Well, well, like uh, Paul George. Yeah. Like KD. Yeah. Um, so who knows? I mean, I people keep throwing out their KD. Oh, KD will be a free agent next year. He'll, I, I don't see. Why would he ever leave Golden State? We're in the mid, uh, middle of uh, you know a dynasty run that is that could go unmatched. Why? Why would he? Why would he leave that? That just seems silly. They they they, they they're, they're still set up to win another three or four mm-hmm. if they can stay healthy, keep everybody together. Well, if you look at Paul George, I mean, I don't know what he was making in his last deal, but in his next four, he's going to make 31, 33, 35, and 38 million. Right. He's almost approaching John Wall's Supermax type money. Yeah. He kicks in next season. So, I mean, I get it. I mean, he's not going to win a championship there, probably, as long as the uh, Warriors stay together. Now it makes it more difficult with LeBron being out there, but he's going to get paid. But the Eastern Conference will be wide open. Yes, the Celtics will be the clear favorites. They played well this year, and they. Did that in the playoffs without Kyrie Irving, without Gordon Hayward. That wide open. Feel bad for Dwayne Casey because he got fired from the Raptors, even though he won Coach of the Year, because he couldn't get over the Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James hump. Well, that's gone. Yeah, well, bring him back. He had the best record in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, now he's got to deal with uh, Blake Griffin and Andre <laughs> Drummond. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what? That team might be in the in the Eastern Conference Finals because the Eastern Conference is so bad. Did DeAndre Jordan sign? Well, let's be honest. The Celtics, yes. are, the Celtics well, are, are the six. He signed with Dallas? Yes. He did. A one-year deal. Somebody was saying it would be a great troll move by Cuban to then uh, to not sign him. Tell him sure and then let him opt <laughs> right. out of his deal and then whore him like yeah. he did him. Just let him waver a couple of years ago. But we, we don't know how good the Celtics can be because we didn't see Hayward play with these guys. And then Kyrie got hurt, obviously, towards the end of the year and missed the playoffs. But if they don't make the fi- the Eastern Conference Finals minimum, if not the NBA Finals, either they got hurt again or something seriously is wrong chemistry-wise with them. They are clearly the, the cream of the crop in the East. Seems like it to me. I just know I'll rarely see LeBron play. When he, yep. plays, when he plays an Eastern Conference team, I might, I might watch a little. Yeah. I doubt I'll stay up late. Uh, you mentioned the Brian Windhorst deal. So Brian Windhorst, I think, has been connected with LeBron since high school. 
Yeah. That was the deal. It was like from that area and then became kind of famous on ESPN when LeBron made the decision to leave from Cleveland to Miami. Here's what he said about Paul George opting not to follow LeBron to L.A. You'd want to take a two-year deal because if he took a two-year deal, Rach, he could get to 10 years uh, service right. time mm-hmm. and then come back on the market and get a big raise. Taking a three-year deal, this is basically him giving a giant hug to Oklahoma City. Uh, mm-hmm. I, this, I am stunned. I, I am as contract as I was stunned that the Thunder... In fact, I almost will tell you, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you that this is, a bigger, this is a bigger accomplishment for the Thunder yeah. than trading for him. Because, yeah. because they, he didn't have control over the trade. Right. He had control over what, side, what his contract was. And to agree with this contract, he obviously agreed to it several days ago. Right. But he, he had a long time to think yeah. about this. His pay, by the way, goes from $19 million to $30 million.